important again. There's my cut edge. That's my good edge. I've got the big fold. People make a mistake of hanging it upside down. That's the good edge will go up against that good edge. The cut edge I've just cut on the board to go into that corner, or it should go, I've done it by about 500 metres around the corner. Foot there, steady it down, take the weight, match me pattern up. I'm exaggerating now, as you can see, I'm not matched up. It'll slide a little bit, so slide it into place, match my pattern up, just temporary match it around the corner. Match it up. Don't mess about too much because I've got it somewhere near. Once I've got it there, it's going to fall off if I'm not careful. So what I've got to do, right on that very corner where the point is, do a little snip of my shears. I can then fold that round. And we do a bottom fold. Again the same. Get it in line, just check it hasn't slipped down, because it can a little bit, it'll slide down the wall possibly. Just push that out temporary. Make sure I've got a nice joint, so I've got a nice butt joint there, it's not overlapped. And there isn't a gap. Okay, come to the bottom bit, you can do a little pencil back his finger. Put a little pencil back his finger if you like. If not, a little pencil, a little dot. Once I've got that, I can actually brush this out. <laughs> what I'm going to do then, I get my finger on my brush, finger and thumb, so I'm going to do that, down that corner. Into there, brush all the air bubbles out. Into the corner, you can see, because I've cut it perfect, like I always do. It's gone round the corner, 500 metres, or thereabouts. It's gone a little bit more at the bottom. The reason why? Because this kind of that corner, or that corner, isn't completely straight. So that's why you've got to cut it, because your pattern would go out, you get bubbles in the corner, you get creases. Oh, moved a little bit. Right, at the top. Last time, standing knife, crease it in, back in your shoes if you need to, stand the knife at the top, or your pair of shoes, whichever you're using, nice deep cutting, bits of paper down there, get them in the bin later. Same at the top, all the way around, push it well in, go over it a couple of times if you need to with a standing knife to make sure it's going to cut. Little bit missed, so I'm going to go up again. And I've still, still missed a bit, but I've got it in the end. Right, okay. Before I do that, same as usual, pull it back, wipe the paste off. Same again at the bottom, cut it, shoes or standing knife depending, wipe the paste off, you're ready for the next bit on the back wall. Right, I've hung my piece of paper, I've cut it and marked it, cut it on the board, I've got this little slither left now. That piece, will match up to that. Now I can't just slap it into the corner because we've just proved the point. I've got 500 metres around the corner at the top, about 8 or 10 at the bottom. So that's going to prove that this corner or that corner or both of them are not quite straight. So I've got to hang that plumb. So what I need to do, measure how wide that is. And in this case it's 120 millimetres. Just check it all over, 121 ish millimetres. So, I need to plumb a line down there. Now, what I do is, technically, from the corner is 121 millimetres. What I do, I come out a little bit. So, from the edge of me, millimetre from the corner, measure 121 millimetres. So, I'm out from the corner of the factory. I'm going to use the plumb bob again. Again, for you to see it, I'm going to use a pen. You'd use a pencil or spirit level, whichever. I've got my ruler, that is. So, 121 millimetres from the corner. Little dot. I can then drop the plumb bob down. 
and plum align or spirit level align, whichever you prefer. Like I said, I'm doing a, bl a blue marker pen. This will stain my paper, so I'd use a pencil. But I'm just so you can see it. Drop my plum bob down. Don't want it touching my wall, so let it settle gently. Once it stopped moving, little mark, in your case, be a pencil mark about every two or three millimetres. Cap me, cap in, I'm left handed. If you stand in front of it, I shut my right eye. If you're right handed, stand in front of it, shut your left eye. You've all got a master eye if you're left or right handed. Once I've got that, let it settle. I've got a nice line to go to to hang your paper. These mistakes made, what people do is to hang it upside down. You should hang it upside down because you've got big fold, small fold, big folds at the top. Drop that down. I've got a full pattern at the top. That's my bit I'm cutting off again. So I'm going to line that up on my, on my plumb bob down there into the corner. Then you should get a, a fairly good match into that corner, you can brush that out, and do the bottom fold, into the corner. Now, what you don't want is a gap or right into overlapping into the corner. If it does, you might have to adjust the front line a little bit. So you're adjusting that, getting it nice and straight, and it should match up. Mistake you have, it slips down a little bit, slide it up. So that pattern should go in line. You might lose a little bit of the pattern if the back corner, because you've got the way you cut on the corner too far, which most people do. Mistake they make, five millimeters on the corner, not 25. The more you go on the corner, the worse your pattern on the corner will look. The important bit, you've got to get that plumb. Cut the top, cut the bottom, and your next piece is normal. Come to the next corner, and we'll do exactly the same. Cut round it, plumb a line. Next corner, Plumb a line. Every wall you do, you plumb a line. You might have to cut it in the corner, now I can do about that, but to get, make sure it's plumb. And that's the important bit. So make sure your pants really chill at the top and you're not twisting this to get bubbles in the corner and creases or overlaps and gaps. You want a nice butt joint.